Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleford, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous, where, as you can see, we are looking at the map. Now, originally, we started over here, which was where we were in the bubble. And I've been to all sorts of little places over here, and I ended up over here sometime, I don't know when. Uh, but the furthest I had been was over here. That's that's the furthest I'd ever been. Then we upgraded our diamond back over here with the uh, with the lady, uh, and I was told, well, it was suggested to me by Lapiaz that I should go to H I P three six six o one to get supplies for this this thing. I actually. I made a mistake. I, I dropped the O from that and ended up over here. All the way over there, which was definitely the wrong place. It was actually considerably further away from the um, from the bubble than I'd ever been before, but it was the wrong place. So, I've started to make my way over to the right place this time. Hopefully, uh, and uh, I'm I'm we are doing that in the diamond back, and we are going to do lots of exploring. This is the good thing about going to places all over the place because you get to do lots of exploring. And HIP three six six zero one is just just inside the next sector of the of the galaxy. So, interesting. In the meanwhile, I, on the, uh, the, the suggestion of um, Zelex, I removed the thing that slows me down when I'm near one of these, which means that we go into a, a, a quick, a quick fuel scoop as soon as we get in, which is brilliant. I keep forgetting how to turn the thing off. And uh, and I think it was Dove who told me that I could just slow down and so I can do that, and then I get my fuel in no time. But usually, whilst I'm doing this, oh hello, I'm warming up. Let's get away from the sun. Usually, whilst I'm doing this, I also do the D scan, which I just did. I think I'll do it again because it's good to do. And that gets a bit back from there, and then I shall scan this place. The amount of scanning data I'm going to get from all this. I just scanned for the important stuff, so this is kind of kind of useful. Why is it sort of saying that... No, I want the water worlds, please. Just the water worlds. Forget everything else. I only want the water worlds here. Give me the scan for the water worlds. Where is it? Is this it? Well, yes. One water world. Ooh. Okay, so I'll mark that. Come on. So hopefully, we shall get loads and loads and loads of good data that we can take back to the bubble once we uh, once we get there, uh, and uh, and then we'll get loads of money alongside the loads of um, stuffs, the materials that we need. Oh wow, that's a long way away. Do I really want to spend all that time going there? No, not really. I really don't. That's going to take ages. <laughs> we could just go to the next place. I think I'll do that. That's that's not important, whereas this is. So, let's go to the next place. Go to the galaxy map. It's always somewhat difficult for me to do this. I'm rubbish at moving these along. There we go. So now we should be able to select that. Eh, good. Brilliant. Let's head over there. That's somewhere else. It's not far away from there. Interesting. Awesome. So, I'm not going to get as much for that because I didn't scan the planet, but, you know, we are on our way somewhere as well as trying to get information. I don't scan the entire systems because 
I don't scan the entire systems. I'm not really after the, the money as much as I am the uh, the resources, but it is interesting to get to get all of the things that we can. And if there was a, a really expensive world like the uh, the Earth type worlds, then I would definitely scan that. Provided it's not bazillions of light years away, uh, forcing me to spend ages going to it. <laughs> Excellent. Scoop that fuel whilst I scan. Well, does it? Twenty bodies. Wonderful. Now I shall have a look at this. There's nothing in the uh, in the um, Earth-type world thing. So let's let's grab these whilst it fuel scoops, and hope that I'm not driving into the sun. Fuel scooping complete. Is it? Okay. It has a tendency to say that, and then when I um. When I go out, it looks as if it needs more fuel, when in actual fact, it doesn't. Okay, so there's one more gas giant thing here. Come on. I could so be driving into the sun. And I wouldn't know. I think I headed a little bit away. Oh no, there's another gas giant. Where is it? You a gas giant? I feel like I might be driving into the sun. I really do. Okay, that'll do. Out we go. Let's not drive into the sun. <laughs> that would be bad. But we've got all of the sort of data that we need, roughly. The rest we'll have to worry about another time. I don't want to just scan loads and loads and loads of ice planets. Because ice planets? Ugh. Anyhow, let's get over there. Drive charging. Awesome. I don't know how many jumps we've got. We've got 14 jumps until the sort of halfway point. I'm not even convinced that I have enough jump distance to get all the way there anyway. This is kind of an experiment. But uh, an exploring experiment? No problem. We'll just continue exploring and see how it is. Because uh, obviously the more I look around the place, the more I will discover. And the more cash we'll make in the process. Which is excellent towards next new ships and new stuffs. Okay, let's grab some uh, oh I need to do the scanning. Is this not a is this not a scooping sun? This isn't a scooping sun, is it? Okay, five bodies. Let's reduce our speed. I'm always finding these non scoopable suns. I have set it up so that it should be just scanning for like just the suns that I want. I am going to scan for this gas giant over here. Oh, maybe it's here. Okay. Well, that was easy. Great. 55%. <laughs> I could totally have scanned the rest of the system. It wouldn't have taken that long, but never mind. We're headed this way. I'm not getting any signals. When I went out into uh, the wild yonders the last time, uh, I was getting loads of little signals around the place, like um, degrading... Um, emissions and that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm wondering where all of those have gone. Or whether they're only like going towards the centre of the uh, galaxy rather than going towards the outside, which is what we're doing effectively at the moment. And of course, the stars are further apart. Ah. Can I scoop this one? Please let me scoop this one. Good. Scoop that fuel. And scoop loads of it, because we need a lot. Okay. So we slow down to a crawl. Scan the area again. Brilliant. And then, see what's about. Is there anything in the right range? No. Uh, there's some metal bodies. We might be able to find something metal. Or not. I don't want to find those. I only want to find the metal planets. Get away with your other stuff. <laughs> well, is it all behind the sun? I'm not having much luck here. <laughs> right. Can we go in and find anything here? Oh, they're all here. They are here. Okay, one high metal content world. Anything? Uh, it wants me to scan for everything. Fine. Just a little while. It's going to take. Oh, 
We haven't got a little while. The fuel scooping's done. Oh, well. Might as well grab these whilst I'm here. It's not going to take too long. What's this? Metal! Brilliant. That's exactly what we want. High metal content world! Hmm. I wonder if I can land on any of those. Wouldn't mind trying. Grabbing stuff. Good for me. Yes. Ah, it's all ice bodies and rubbish after that. Forget it. Off we go. Continue our search. I so want more of the Earth-like planets. I haven't seen an Earth-like planet for absolutely ages. It's been like, no, no. No Earth-like planets. Why would, you, why would you need any of those? <laughs> because cash. Really good. Okay. Let's get out there. Now, it could disconnect me quite a lot. It, it has a tendency to do this. In the morning. I don't know why it's always in the morning, which is really unhelpful. It's like the only time that I need the connection speed to be working properly. But, uh, yeah, in the morning it seems to light me all over the place. I don't know what it's about. It's just about being mean and getting in the way, I think. <laughs> More fuel scooping! The power of the fuel scoop. Oops, I'm supposed to be scanning, aren't I? Hmm, that sun was pretty good. I was getting loads of fuel and it wasn't particularly hot, so let's not point towards the sun whilst we're doing this. Okay, uh, nope, nope, this is a boring, boring system. Hello, boring system, we're going to be leaving you very soon. There we go. <laughs> None of that! I don't, I don't have any, any interest in scanning a boring system. So, off we go. At least it had a scoopable sun. That's nice. I'm curious to know when, it, when I'm going to be able to actually set a destination point near the place that we're supposed to be going. I don't know if you require one of those super amazing jumps with the blue star thing to get there. I hope not. Because I've never done it before, and it scares me. That, and it's supposed to damage your frame shift drive in the process, and I haven't actually got myself one of the self-repairing lip pit things yet. Which I need to do, but now that we're so far away from the bubble, it's going to be a little while. Hello there, son. Is it just the two of you? I think it is. System scan complete. Yes. Oh, good, a full system scan. That's brilliant. It's not going to get me much, but, uh, you know. It's a full system scan, so we'll get a bonus. Lovely. What's that message up there? Ooh, I've got lots of messages. Oh, it's my, it's me, it's, it's it telling me that a vault has got somewhere. What are all these are? Hmm. Random stuff. It's probably really important stuff that I'm totally ignoring, but, you know. It's not totally important when I'm out here, so it can be left. <laughs> All right, off we go. How many jumps are we on now? Ten! Ten jumps. I see quite a lot of these systems that are just two stars and nothing else, which is weird. You would have thought that there'd have been a little bit more around, around these stars, but uh, I guess not. And I'm still not actually come face to face with a uh, black hole yet. I did go to one place with a black hole in it but uh, I didn't actually go and investigate it. I don't. That was on the way to uh, to the engineer I believe. So yeah. I do need to look at a black hole at some time. I know that you can sort of find them on the uh, on the map uh, with, the, with the careful selection of what you're going for. Slow down. Okay, I'll slow down then. Picky. Right, let's scan this system. Is this just one planet? No, no, it's three planets. That's good. Three planets at least. Right, let's head away from the sun for starters. And then... Scan! Is this changing the direction of my ship, I wonder? Because it could be, potentially. There's all these weird things. Okay, these are... What's that? Fuel scooping asteroid clusters. Oh, I don't think I'm interested in asteroid clusters. What's this? 
Oh. I may not be interested in asteroid clusters, but I'm getting them all, apparently. So there we go. I don't want to head straight into the sun. Is everything on the other side of the sun? Could be. Oh, no, that's just an asteroid cluster. I don't need that. Why is it taking me there? Well, it's certainly got a lot of asteroids. You don't really get much um, for asteroids, if anything, I think. I don't think I remember seeing anything for asteroids. Well, I can't, I can't find anything. Oh, he says, shortly followed by finding something immediately. What was that? There was some sort of thing there when I went into that. Almost as if there was something important that I was missing. Hmm. Is it icy rocky worlds? Oh joy. I do so much like finding the icy rocky worlds. <laughs> icy rocky worlds are like 80% of the stuff that you find. And it's... <laughs> I don't want to find loads of icy rocky worlds. You know what? Forget it. Bye. I'm going. I do like this sun. It is a very nice colour. I like the white, the really, really white suns. And I really like the ones with the, uh, the, the swirly lines coming from them. Because they're like the most dramatic of the lot. Or at least the most dramatic of the lot that I've seen so far. Okay. Here we go to Regu ah, Regu ah, MLX, which could well be another fascinating system, or it could have nothing in it. We shall see. I want another Earth-like world. Come on! I think I was told that the um, the suns with O or as the uh, as the Thing for them and the suns with B. So BO, go to the BO suns because they're 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 likely to uh, you're likely, you're likely to sniff out a, uh, a, a an Earth-like planet on the uh, the BO suns. <laughs> All of those suns with BO. Right. Give me some scanning. Oops, I'm going too fast again, aren't I? Always doing that. So I. I I always do the fuel scooping every single time I can. Is there anything here? Ooh, is that an Earth-like world? Where is it? Show me that Earth-like world. Come on. Am I going to have to scan absolutely every single place here? Probably right. It's not going to give me that really quick. Is it over here? It's over here. Excellent. Ooh, that's a rocky ice-like world. That wasn't an Earth-type world. I, I was robbed, I tell you. Ah. <laughs> I thought we were going to get an exciting world. But no, just rock and ice. Oh, well, we've scanned a few of them now. Yeah. Nope, nope, just rock and ice. Forget you, then. You're going to be all rocky and icy. Hmm, hello. Ammonia worlds, but we don't have any of those in this. And still no signals again. That's really weird, because I, 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 I did get signals when I was out in the middle of space. I got signals. And now, not a single one. So evidently, going away is definitely not as fun <laughs> as going towards the centre of the galaxy. This way... I should totally have looked at those signals when I went into when I was going towards the uh, the galaxy center because then I'd have known what they were instead of having absolutely no idea they could be anything. <sighs> Next time I'm going that way, I'm scanning signals. Hopefully all of them. In the meanwhile, still more. I don't know how many jumps we got left until we reach the halfway point. And then I shall I shall probably be, uh, be be doing this for a little while because it does seem to be something that's going to take a, 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 a tad scan. I'm fascinated to know how much cash we're going to get from all of this scanning. Really? What is it? Just three suns and that's it? It's going to be three suns, isn't it? Hmm. Let's have a look. Of course, this isn't scanning all of the. Um, yeah, it's just three suns, that's it. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not landing on one of those, that's for sure. 
Okay. Come on. Give us my fuel and I'll go. It does actually tell you, like, at the end of a run on the map, it says, this is this, the sun that you're going to be grabbing your fuel from. So I could potentially just not grab fuel at every sun and grab fuel at the end of the run, but uh, I really don't like the idea of running out of fuel. I know that there's a service of wonderful people out there who help pilots who land themselves in the middle of nowhere with no fuel, but I kind of, I kind of prefer like having the fuel than running out of it. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to be using that surface its service if I can help it. We're off to another M Red Dwarf. So, let's see what's all there. I didn't get a chance to... Seven jumps, okay. So, we're getting closer to the halfway point. In fact, we're getting much closer to the halfway point. 20 light years this time in a jump. I can go up to 33, I believe, in this, uh, in this Diamondback Explorer. But, uh... That is our current limit, I believe. Don't know. Uh, how, I think I've been told that it can go up to about 60. So that would be awesome. That would be really awesome. I mean, we could definitely jump a long way then. Scan. Always forgetting to do the scan. Fuel complete. Mm, okay. So what's here? Is there any... Yeah, I've, I've throttled down. I've throttled down. Now let me look at that. Rubbish! Yeah. Another load of cold, dead planets. <laughs> I wonder if there's much on these things. Let's have a look at the uh, the system. And see if we can find out whether they're planets that you can land on. No, you can't land on those. Yeah. And somebody scanned them. <laughs> Interesting. I'm mostly after the expensive ones. Anything that's not? No. <laughs> okay, 30 light years. This is more like it. We are going to get far closer to our destination on another jump. We've got six left. But we I cover so much more area now. It's really cool. Because before, it was like I was going for 30 jumps or so, and I was getting hardly anywhere. Although at the time, I thought that 30 jumps was a really, 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 really long way, and it, it really totally, totally wasn't. Here we are! Another sun! Ooh, there's a lot of planets in this system. That's good. You never know. As long as they're not all icy worlds, it won't be bad. Getting a lot of fuel here. Okay. Now that we're down to this, I shall point outwards before I have a look at anything. Really? They're all ice worlds? Ice bodies. Oh, there's some high metal content world ones. Hi. Oh, and the fuel scoop's done already. Sometimes it's done way too quickly. I'm like, mm, I was, I was scanning. <laughs> Ooh, there's one. Okay. Ah. Well, that looks like the ice. It looks like the the metal worlds are done now. So uh, onwards, with only five jumps left to go. Five jumps left to go. Yes, till we reach the halfway point, and I get to see if I can actually plot the distance to the actual plate or not. I think I might try this when we get over here. I've not tried it yet for, for a little while, so I might do that. Frameshift drive charging. Here we go! Charge that frameshift drive and do it quick. We go into a K-star, which we can scoop from, I think. The, uh, the thing was KGB foam, so... Yeah, it's a it's a it's a scannable one, and thank you to everybody who reminded me of that because uh, I'd, I'd forget it on a regular basis. But now I'm remembering it, hopefully. So yeah, we should be able to do this. Nearly there, nearly there. Okay, what do we got? 
more fuel scooping, of course. Because every time with the fuel scooping. Five bodies! Awesome, what are they? Are they anything fun? No, they're not anything fun. Oh, there's some high metal content worlds. Hey, high metal content world, where are you? There. Good. Is that it? Just the one? It's just the one. Okay, fine. Done. Well, let's go into the galaxy map and see how far we can actually uh, actually work out where we can go now. Because we're getting far closer to our destination, which is just there. Well, that, our halfway destination. And we need to get over that way. Are there enough stars for me to do this? Just please. Because I can't just jump and jump and jump and not know where I'm going. Okay, let's see. We get a lot closer this way. Ah, would you? Oh, I see. Hmm, that's helpful. Okay, let's try this one. Can we plot a way to there? No, we can't. I have a horrible feeling I'm not going to be able to plot my way over there just simply because there aren't enough stars to go there. Let's try... Uh, huh, what can we try? There's, like, picking different places. That's the government governing bodies. Hmm. No. Uh, no again. Okay, well, I'm going to have to fiddle around with the star chart and see if I can find my, my way to make this work properly. But I'm all out of time, so I shall have to do that and come back to you in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.